It's very important in chemistry to learn to write numbers in what's called scientific notation. The reason why this is very important is because we're going to be talking about very, very large numbers and very, very small numbers. And these kind of numbers have a lot of zeros to them. And it's much, much easier to look at them and understand them if they're written in scientific notation. So let's talk about what scientific notation is. The format is one non-zero digit, a decimal point, maybe there's some other digits, there doesn't have to be, times 10 to a power. Right. So for example, I might have four times 10 to the third. Or I might have 6.0 times 10 to the negative 2. But what I don't have is something like 73 times 10 to the fifth. You can't be done. You have to have one digit, then the decimal point. So don't get to thinking that anything with a times 10 to the something is scientific notation. It has to be in the format one digit then the decimal point, then maybe some other things, times 10 to the power. Now, should that power be a positive or a negative? That's the sticking point. Remember that if I'm talking about 10 to the positive n, a positive number, then my number is bigger than 1. So if I'm talking about 3,320, my decimal point is here. I'd have to go back 1, 2, 3 to get to the point where I want the decimal point. Now some people think in their mind, wait, I'm going backwards, that makes it negative. But what I really want is when I'm looking at the scientific notation, I want to be able to go from there back to the original number. So 3.32, one, two, three digits, so times 10 to the positive third. Because I'm looking at this and saying it's 3.32, times a thousand, which is what 10 to the third is. So 3.32 times a thousand gets me back to my 3320. So the number is bigger than one, as 3320 is, I need a positive exponent. If the number is smaller than one, that's a negative exponent. Now remember, I'm not talking about smaller than zero here. I'm not talking about a negative number. I'm talking about a number like 0 0.0097. This is a number between 0 and 1. This decimal point at the beginning, this zeros at the beginning, are telling you that's a negative exponent. Once again, it's going to be a 3, 1, 2, 3, because again, I want the decimal point after the first non-zero digit. So 9.7 times 10 to the negative third. Because when I'm looking at this, I want to say 9.7 divided by 1,000, right? Times 0 0.001. And that's what's going to get me from here back to here. So when you're going from the standard number to the scientific notation, if I'm going from the left to the right, that's going to be a negative number because I've got all these zeros at the beginning. If I'm going from the, the right to the left, that's going to be a positive exponent because I want a number that's bigger than 1.